Hey guys, it's Mariella. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I feel like I should have gotten more decent for this, but I'm actually catching a flight in a couple of hours and I don't, I don't like wearing makeup for flights, so sorry. <laughs> okay, so if you're watching this video, it's either because you are currently starting an acting, acting career, you want to be an actor, or you just like to keep up with my life. <laughs> but as you can see from the title of this video, I just booked my very first commercial. Like, I'm so, 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 so excited. I literally quit my job and moved to Atlanta about a year ago at the end of 2019. Now is the end of 2020. 2020 has been a tough year. So I am so excited I finally got this awesome acting opportunity. So what you guys are gonna see in this video is pretty much a vlog of the whole experience and I am gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna walk you through like how I booked the commercial in the first place so you guys can get an idea if you want if you want to be an actor, you get an idea of the process that it takes to book something and then you're gonna see the process of the something. <laughs> so before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're also following me on Instagram and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so as I mentioned, I moved to Atlanta a year ago. I moved to Atlanta in December 2019. Um, I quit my job November 2019 and then I moved here with the hopes to pursue acting as a professional career as well as start my own business. I managed to sign with a talent agency by March, which was awesome, but because of the pandemic, ugh, everything just everything just went to shit honestly yeah it's been a tough year it's been a tough year in the acting world but then in november i managed to do an indie film and now i booked this commercial so it looks like things are starting to pick up and i feel like this is going to be like an awesome just push into the new year 2021 with awesome opportunities coming ahead so i'm so 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 excited so one thing i did want to one one thing i do want to mention right off the bat is i did not book this commercial through my talent agency i know a lot of people think that you can only book commercials or you know big projects if you have an agent that's really not the case i did not book through my agent but let's get started okay so how did i even get to apply to a commercial without my agent so Okay, if you're an actor, some things that you need to have, obviously, is headshots, a resume, and a reel. If you are an actor, you, so, you should also have a profile on Actors Access. I personally think that's like the best um, website for applying for jobs. I used to also have Backstage and Casting Networks, I think it's called. Backstage, I feel like it's if you're a starting actor, it's good because there's a lot of student films there, but there's not a lot of paid projects. And then Actors Access, that's where you really want to be. So the listing for the commercial came up. They were like, we're looking for someone in their 20s, professional look, yada, yada, yada. So I applied. Uh, pretty much when you apply to a listing, they'll come back to you like, hey, we would like a video, a self-take audition, which is pretty much a video that you do yourself. I did the video audition. It was it was kind of very commercial, commercial host talking. So I, I didn't even need a reader. It was like literally just a monologue and they wanted it to be comedic. So whatever, I did it, I sent it. And then uh, probably like a week or two later, they're like, hey, congrats. We want you to take part of the, um, the callbacks, which means now you move to the stage where you actually, if the pandemic wasn't happening, um, it will probably be an in-person audition. Callbacks are usually like the in-person, like they want to see you in person now. But also considering I'm in Atlanta and this project is for Salt Lake City. So considering that it's for Salt Lake City, I probably would have still done a Zoom call. The callbacks literally take no more than 10 minutes. So you're literally only on a Zoom call with them for 10 minutes, which is like, how much can you possibly show just in 10 minutes, right? So they send you a new script. You have to have it memorized. So it was awesome. It was about 10 minutes. Okay, boom. And then, yeah. And then I received an email that was like, congrats, your cast. We chose you for the role. And I was just like, ah, oh, it's cool. My first commercial. And I didn't even book it through an agent, which is awesome. So that was pretty much how I got to booking the commercial. So now the commercial. So I actually, I'm flying out today so tomorrow this time i'm gonna be on set so i already have my script they booked the flights for me they booked the hotel for me they're gonna providing they're gonna be providing me with meals 
I'm guessing also transportation from the airport to the hotel, from the hotel to the studios. It's in Salt Lake City. I've never been to Salt Lake City before. So this is awesome. I, hopefully I get like some time to explore. Um, I don't, but yeah, so excited. On the studio, I don't know how much I'll be able to record of being in the studio. Again, once you, when you sign a non-disclosure agreement, you can't be too freely with their, with their information. So I might be able to like snap some pictures like, oh, behind the scenes, but nothing that would, um, that would show who the client is or the marketing agency or whatever. So yeah, guys, following on this journey is going to be a lot of fun. And hopefully this really helps you. If you're trying to become an actor, I'm a new actor myself. So if you're trying to become an actor, hopefully, you know, you could get something from this. Or if you just follow me because you like to see what I do in my life, then you're going to get to see me live something that I'm really excited about. My very first commercial It's going to be great. But before I go to the airport, got to drop off orders. <laughs> I just arrived at Salt Lake City. They did not arrange um they did not arrange transportation for me from here to the hotel, so I have to do it myself. Okay, I just made it to my hotel. It's really nice. It's a hotel by Hilton. Um I'm not sharing a room with other actors. That's good. I think they're also staying in the same hotel, but we're all getting our own room, so that's nice. And I just actually, as soon as I got here, I just like went to the liquor store. <laughs> okay, so I'm in my hotel room now. I'm gonna eat food I got from the airport. Got myself some cheap wine, which I'm gonna drink out of a coffee cup. So I'm all settled um, into my hotel room. So it is 9.30 p.m in Salt Lake City, that's about like 11.30 um, East Coast time. So like in Atlanta, it's 11.30 right now. And I'm just a bit concerned because yes, I'm eating on the bed. I'm watching Netflix on my laptop because that TV is not a smart TV. I didn't know hotels did not have smart TVs anymore. I, every time I travel, I stay in Airbnbs and they have smart TVs. Hotels need to catch up. But I'm a little concerned because right now it is 9.30 and I haven't heard anything from these people. Like they haven't sent out a call sheet yet. If you guys don't know what a call sheet is, a call sheet is pretty much the shoot schedule. So when you're filming a movie or a commercial or anything at all, it, they'll send you a call sheet with all the actor's name, all the scenes, um, all the scenes that need to be shot and pretty much telling everyone at what time they need to be on set. So it is 9.30, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep early to be rested for tomorrow, first day of, of shooting for me, but I still don't have the call sheet. So I have no idea what time I'm supposed to come in, you know? I even like emailed them like, hey, I still don't have a call sheet. But yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, I spoke too soon. It's actually a few minutes before 10 p.m. They just sent me the call sheet. I have to be on set at 7 30 in the morning and always to be safe because my hair actually takes so long to figure out what they want to do with it i'm gonna be there at seven which means i have to i think it's i'm like only 20 minutes away which is cool so that means i have to wake up like at 5 30 in the morning so good night right, so i am now on set i'm trying to be quiet <laughs> um i have to change into my wardrobe and i just got COVID tested so i'm still like uh Excited for the day ahead. Hello. So I literally just got back. Um, it is about 7 p.m. Um, Utah time. So call time was 7 a.m. this morning, which means that we have to wrap by 7 p.m. Meaning like we have to stop working by 7 p.m. Because um, usually actors contract only include like 12 hours of work and if you go over 12 hours of work which would which would be brutal because that would be very tiring then they have to pay overtime which is like a certain rate that they usually like include in the contract yeah so i just got back i'm pretty tired my makeup is looking tired from wearing the mask um all how the day went it was amazing it was absolutely amazing there were some things that um you know could have gone better or some things not that could have gone better. I think that my expectations were up there and they weren't met, but that's just because I didn't know what to expect um, in a commercial shoot. 
Um, but it's it's been amazing. Everything was great. Wardrobe was amazing. I was in love with like all all the wardrobe costumes that I had to have. I was I'm playing like the young professional. So that was amazing. The beginning of the day was rough. I've arrived like 10 minutes late because I didn't realize that like Ubers are, are not as abundant here. So literally when I went to get the Uber on my phone, it took like literally over 15 minutes for the app to find an Uber to take me there. So I started freaking out. I I was literally planning on be being there early. Instead, I got a, I got there 10 minutes late, which wasn't a big deal because when I got there, there was like a line for COVID testing anyways. Like everyone had to wait outside to get tested before going on set. Now that they started out rough because the contract said that we were supposed to get a makeup and hair stylist. Okay guys, my hair, it's unique, right? Because of the time we live in, it's unique. And I've already learned, I've already done enough like small projects to know that when they said they have a hairstylist, it's not for this hair. So I did wake up extra early just to refresh my hair and to make to style my hair um, the, way, the way it is now. Then they sent out an email with last night um, with the with the call sheet saying, "Come, hair and makeup ready." For me, what I thought that meant was, "Come ready to get your hair and makeup done," which usually mean clean canvas which means no makeup or if you do do makeup if you do have makeup on make it something natural that we could work over right i have had like whatever other projects tell me that I, like do a light makeup so we just have to like do quick makeup over it so when i got there i was hair ready because i'm like i know even if you have a stylist you're not going to be able to deal with my hair so i was hair ready it's, and i took my makeup back with me just to make sure and mostly for like my foundation because i know like you know it might not be very it might be a little hard to like match my skin tone or you know they don't have the right color so i'm like okay let me take my makeup back just in case so i did and then when i got there the makeup artist was like why aren't you makeup ready which meant like i was supposed to show up with like makeup on and i was like isn't that what you're for <laughs> I didn't say that whatever so I ended up just doing my own makeup I just did my own makeup real quick foundation a little bit of contour a little bit of blush eyebrows uh, lashes eyeliner and whatever the, I just had my lip gloss with me the whole time the other actors that came with their makeup on they got like retouched or whatever but since I did like my own makeup then and there um, the makeup artist like really did not touch me at all I didn't care I didn't mind honestly I, I felt way more comfortable doing my own makeup and my own hair knowing that it was gonna come out the way I want to look on camera but it was just a little um like it just took like got took me what's the word I'm looking for it just like threw me off guard that the makeup artist was like why isn't your makeup on <laughs> other than that I feel like I got I got along so well with the director. Oh, I love her. She's amazing. We got along with the assistant director as well. Everyone in there was just so amazing. And all the other actors were great. And then the director was telling us a bit about the selection process, like how they selected us for the commercial. It turned out that like almost like 10,000 people applied. They saw X amount of submissions. And then, you know, from there, they nar narrowed it down to six actors which is insane like i'm like extremely flattered <laughs> but yeah guys and that's how the first day of shooting went um tomorrow i have another day of shooting and then i fly out on saturday but today was really awesome and i can't wait to see what the last day of shooting looks like so today my call time is not till 5 p.m so i'm like okay what am i gonna do with my day so i decided to go explore someone is paying for your flight why not use it to explore? It was my last day on set and to celebrate 
<laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> damn it! It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> and today I have an actual glass. Cheer, guys, as I celebrate with myself. <laughs> My first commercial ever. Ugh, I love bubbly Moscato. Today was so, so awesome. It wasn't as crazy as yesterday, which was the first day of filming. Yesterday we were filming for like literally like almost 12 hours. Today call time was at five and we wrapped my scene close to nine. So it was only four hours of filming and it was only my scene. So it wasn't like yesterday it was like you know, six different character scenes. Whereas today it was literally just my scene. And then we had background, background actors, which guys like, it feels so good to be like the principal actor, you know, like you're just there, like, you know, minding your own business and then, you know, getting ready to shoot the scene. And then like the background actor starts to arrive and it's just like, it feels so good to like, be the principal and like be the one that everyone wants to talk to like they all wanted to like talk to me and like because you know usually when people do background is because they're um like just starting out but like they want to talk to me and like find out how i got there and i'm just like yo i j this is my first thing like i just got here <laughs> giving advice that i'm like can i even be giving this advice like this is my first commercial ever <laughs> like i don't even know like i'm borderline don't even know what i'm doing it was a good day and then they wrapped me so when you're like um and on your last scene when you just filmed your last scene the director would announce like hey everyone today is mariella's last picture scene whatever and then like everyone was just like clap like and cheer and then as you're leaving they're like all giving you compliments like oh you did great and of course guys very important every time you do a project no matter how big or small get everyone's socials um, something I do is I get people's Instagram and then I screenshot them. So, you know, I remember like who they are on Instagram. And then a couple of days later, I will send them a thank you note. Like, Hey, it was great working with you. Just make sure you stay connected with people that you worked with before, no matter how big or small, because you never know when people, where people are going to end up. Right? So it is now 10 30 PM wrap day. I am now going to eat my dinner, take a shower drink my wine and I fly out tomorrow um, afternoon so I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow and yeah guys this has been an awesome experience so I really hope this video helped you and inspired you to you know just keep going the acting world is tough but you know moments like this is that remind you why you are doing this because it's just working on these projects and meeting all these awesome people like is so great so yeah, hope this helped.